Hello and welcome in my next tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can create this animated lava shader in Cinema 4D Octane. So let's get started. Let's go to Create, Extensions, C4D Octane, Octane Material. Let's apply it to our object. Let's double click at our material. Let's click at the node editor. And in node editor, we want to click at the material, go to basic, change the material type to universal and change the BRDF model to GGX energy preserving. Now we want to change the albedo to black and add a bit of roughness, maybe 0.2. Now let's go to emission and add texture emission. Let's change it to surface brightness and let's lower the power. Now we can add noise 4D to the texture of the texture emission. And what we're looking for in this noise is something like really small islands, maybe like this, or maybe dense are the nice noise type. Let's actually animate the time here so we can see how it looks animated. So let's go to the first frame and let's click at this dot next to the time. And let's go to the last frame. In my case, I set it to 600. So it's a bit more time here to see what's going on. I will change the time here now to five and click at this dot again. I will right click at the time, go to animation, show F curve, select it and change it to linear. Now when I play it, I can see the animation. Now let's add transform here and projection. In texture projection, we want to change it to distorted mesh UV. And in the transform, we want to just recompensate the scale here and uncheck the log axis ratio to fix the small stretch we have here from the UV map, like so. In the texture projection, we want to connect noise 4D to the rotation and translation. Let's go to the texture projection and change the rotation in range to 0.1 and then here to minus 0.1. Let's sell now this noise. Let's add the transform. We don't need a projection here. Also make sure that uh, you have UVs in your object, otherwise it will not work. This texture projection here, which is the sort of mesh UV, needs UVs to work. But if you don't know how to create UVs and you want quick results, just click right at uh, your object, type in UVV, and you will have this uh, UVV from projection. Click at this cog here and change the projection type to whatever suits you and just click okay and you will have like really fast uvs but not necessarily the best looking one okay let's go back to this material i will lower the scale in a transform and change the noise to maybe sema seems to be best results and i will crank up the octaves to 10 and disable the cell note here and as we can see we're already getting a lot of distortion from it here's without and here's with and what's cool about it is we can animate them both separately so let's go here to the time Let's click this dot at the first frame. Let's go to the last frame. Let's change it to something else. And let's click at this dot again. And right click at the time, animation, show F curve. Let's select it and linear. We should have now both animations going on at the same time. This looks fine. Maybe it's a bit too fast, but I can adjust it afterwards. I will just change the scale slightly. Okay, now we want to add octane gradient here. So octane gradient and just apply it after the noise 4D. Also, let's add RGB spectrum to the distribution already so we can see the nice colors. You can crack up the power here to maybe 50. Let's change the color to something like 15 in hue to get a bit more orange look. Let me solo the gradient to see what's going on. Okay, with this type of noise, I can't really go as far as I want with the gradient, so I will change it to something else, maybe Booyah. I think we should have nice result now. Let's actually lower the gain to zero and click at the absolute. Let's change the order here of the gradient. The black must be first and maybe 99. Let's see, looks fine. Also, I see that the, our distortion is a bit stretched, so I'll go here to the transform next to the noise that distorts this noise. and. Uncheck the log aspect ratio and slightly squeeze it and lock it back. Also, we can change the scale here. Okay, this looks fine. I think we can lower the power. It was a bit too much. 15 is just fine. Now let's go to the octa material and add displacement. And we just want to connect it directly from the noise 4D and change the displacement type to vertex displacement. Of course, it will slower our rendering time because it's doing much more right now. So I will just pause it. And we want to check the auto bump map. And let's see, we can add the gradient here as well. Let's still note it. Also, we want to invert it, I think. Let's see. So we want the black patches to go outwards and lava to go inwards. So 
the black needs to be white. Okay, so it's basically just inverted like so. We can add a bit more uh, fall off to it so we can get nice look of those. I think it's too much right now. Let's lower it a bit more. Also, we can change the height here to maybe just one centimeter or two. Let's see how intense it is. Okay, this is the furthest it goes. I think the two is just fine. Maybe even three. And then just find a nice balance between. And we can also change the subdivision level to one. Don't go too high with it. It can really freeze your Cinema 4D. And I think that should be just fine. As you can see, we just get one frame every i think second or two even let's actually go with zero just for this tutorial so we can see a bit better what's going on i think our animations are a bit too fast so i will try to adjust it here i will go with three and then here i will go with maybe even two let's see how it looks i can also disable the displacement to see it even better this looks fine you can also change the gain here to get a bit more lava if you want I will actually put it back at 0.5 and we can play with the, all those noises if we want, of course, try to get different results. Maybe we can add octane gradient here to the translation and just try to get weird looking distortion or even change the type here to something else. See what's good. This actually looks pretty good. Also, what I like to do here is in transform because if we use this transform here, we can get nice lava flowing. So I will bring back the old noise type which is sema here so let's try to animate it let's go to the first frame let's click at this dot last frame and maybe just minus one it might be a bit too fast so maybe minus 0 0.5 and of course click at the dot right click animation show f curve and linear and we can see now this flow let's actually connect the displacement back looks really good i think we can boost up the gradient here slightly this looks better and maybe let's go with the subdivision level of one even though we don't see much this way of the animation and maybe let's apply our material to different thing like the plane i have here let's disable the sphere and we can see our lava right now and how it looks and it's it got already a lot of details and we don't even add anything to roughness and all of this extra things here. Also, what you can do is definitely change the EOR to higher value, 1.7 maybe. Also, we want to connect this noise 4D to specular because we don't really want the lava to be reflective. So let's just connect it and let's add octane gradient here between to adjust it. And we definitely need to invert it something like this maybe i think that we can get a bit better results if i squeeze it in a bit more 98 yeah this seems to be fine as you can see if i compare it now and disable the gradient we connected to the specular we now don't have the reflection on the on the lava we can actually squeeze it in a bit more as you can see we also affecting a bit of the magma as well but the results looks better anyway so let's connect it back and yeah you can also of course adjust the roughness here i think we can go with a bit higher value i think that's it let's see how it looks actually in the animation let's get rid of the subdivision level so we actually can see what's going on let's play it we get nice flowing lava here also we can um maybe distort the scale here like so to get a bit more flowing look to it we can actually add a bit more height i think here yeah this looks fine and yeah, I think that's it for this tutorial. Hope you find it entertaining and you learned something new today. My goal on this channel is to upload one tutorial every week. So be sure to subscribe if you want to be up to date with my tutorials. You can also find me on Instagram. And I think that's it. See ya.